Hello, good evening. How are you? Daniel, Julissa, Maximo, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maximo. How was your day? Good. It was good. Not too difficult? No, not too true. Okay, no. good. Uh, what time do you start working, Maximo? At 7, right? At 7 a.m. Okay, okay. So what time do you wake up, Maximo? I, I wake up at... 4.30 a.m. Okay. Pretty early. Pretty early to go to work, Maximo. Yes. By the traffic. Mm, okay. And do you have do you go far from your house? Do you have to travel a lot? Mm, no, not sure. Not sure. No. No. Mm -hmm. I live in Zaragoza, La Libertad. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. And you live in Zaragoza, and where do you work? In Santa Tecla? Mm, yes, in Santa Tecla. Ah, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. But it's the traffic. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you for being on time, Maximo and Julissa. We're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, Maximo, can you remember what we learned yesterday? What did we talk about yesterday? About the turning point. Excellent. About turning points. That's right. And mm -hmm. biogra by by a small biography. And a small of, biography of them. Exactly. Maximo, are you ready to give us a small biography about yourself? Yes. Okay. Please begin, Maximo. Okay. I write it. Okay. Okay. Good evening. I relate a short biography of my life. I am Maximo Antonio Arteaga Maldonado. I am 58 years old. I live in Palo Alto. It's a neighborhood near to Zaragoza La Libertad. I got a grade in electronic engineer. In 2004, I decided to study business administration. I thought that that is very necessary to know and learn more. It was so difficult because I was working, but I finished in 2007. I have 24 years working in the same job. I have created news product bakery and implement it with the co-workers. I install and fix new and older full machine. I have in charge new project in the company. Actually, I am doing a big climate room for safe food at very low temperature. In 2016, 
I decided to leave my job and accepted the offer of new job in Juan Valdez Cafe. It was very interesting. I know the Colombians coffee culture. I tested delicious bean coffee in different type of beverage. I worked for four years in it. In May 2020, my shift in my past job called, called me and I returned again. Nowadays, I am studying in English Corporativo. I started from basic course in the first model. That's it. Okay, Maximo. That's very good writing. Very nice. Only you need to practice a little bit more. That way, when you have an interaction, you are able to speak naturally. But very good. This is the idea. And so now you continue with coffee or not continue with coffee, Maximo? No, no. No, no. That was that not was continue. Uh, not continue. Okay, great. Thank you, Maximo. Uh, okay. Who is the next person, Maximo? We have Morena, Daniel, and Anna. Mm, Anna Aguillon. Okay. Anna Aguillon, please present yourself professionally. Okay. Um, I am. I finished my my high school. Um. 2004 and when I finished my high school I wanted I wanted to start in at the at university but I can because I don't have I, I didn't have uh, resources right in this moment and and then I is uh, I, I was looking for a job, and and I start uh, working at two thousand five. Yes, two thousand five. And my first job was in Hainsborough. I work from this that company for for six years. I ensure uh, the importaciones, the import export for these years, for six years, and I ensure the accounting process, and then. In 2012, no, two, yes, 2012, I mm -hmm. start working in Telus International and Human Resources. Since, since 2012, at a day, <laughs> I was working and that company it's very nice company is is a different another company the culture is very nice is i uh, that company have a lot of uh, younger people yes is is a uh, amazing work with uh, people younger Okay. Anna, thank you very much. Very good. We just need to work a little bit more on that fluency, but very good. You got all of the main information and main ideas. Great. Okay. Anna, who is the next person, Morena or Daniel? Um, Daniel. All right. Daniel, please present yourself professionally. Hello. Good night. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm currently... I have 26 years old, but I celebrating my seventh birthday this Saturday. I reside in San Salvador and work as a data analyst in the field of advertisement. 
I've been with the same company for over a year now, and I thoroughly enjoy my, my work. My skills revolve around data analysis and business strategy. To sum up my job, I analyze data to provide market insights and recommendations. I recently completed my university degree, marking as important milestone in my career journey. I also have a passion for cycling and traveling. Currently, I find myself in Colombia, embarking on my first solo trip during my travel. I've had the opportunity to meet many people and engage in conversations in different languages. Additionally, I'm in the process of learning Portuguese as a new language. What's uh, unique about my work is that I do from the comfort of my home, allowing the flexibility to pr to purse my interest and in travel. Daniel, very nice. Daniel, where are you studying Portuguese? Are you studying at um? It, I say I know you said that you're studying online, but it, you're studying English and Portuguese in this moment. Yes, but uh, Portuguese is basic. Mm -hmm. But with who? Right, with another academy or uh, with the uh, with the Brazilian embassy or what? The Brazilian embassy. Okay. Okay. Good. Hey, mm -hmm. so you're learning a lot. So you're going, you're going to Brazil, huh? Uh, maybe I I want to 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 go, but not is a uh, very. Exactly to um go um only try to have more language for for can travel more in 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 the in the street in the in el camino in the street I found many many people so I want to to speak with with days and knows and other cultures. Good, good with them. Remember with them with them good and just one more thing remember daniel that when you say hello is good evening when you say good night is goodbye ah, okay okay yes. all right thank you daniel thank you all right daniel who is next we have alexandra julissa and morena julissa julissa excellent julissa all right julissa let's practice presenting yourself professionally Good na good evening. Sorry, good evening. My name is Julisa. No, Julisa. Sorry, okay. sorry so much, Julisa. Thank you. Okay. Um. Well, I'm twenty seven years old. Uh, actually, I study biology in university Universidad de Salvador. Um, I'm in for year of my career. Uh, my first experience was in 20, in uh, Centro de Control de Calidad Industrial. I'm, I work in auxiliary of microbiology. Um, I don't know what is the, the word, ah, sorry. Um, I test uh, water, I tested water, um, food for uh, restaurants, I mm, investigated about salmonella, uh, listeria in all the in all the food. Um, then I left the work because I I'm pregnant and the chemicals are dangerous for my my baby then i work and actually i'm still working in 
in a call center for a uh, uh, airline. I work, well, I work for 2019 to actually and it's all uh, um i work with excel i'm in um intermediate and i uh, right now i study, study english Okay, thank you very much, Julissa. I appreciate it. Very good. We have to work more and you have to investigate the vocabulary you need to describe your job and yourself professionally. Also, the pauses. You have a lot of moments where you are talking and you stop. So we need to fix so that you can speak naturally by practicing more. That way you don't have the pauses and it sounds more natural and more professional. Okay, Julissa? Okay, thanks. Thank you. All right. Who is next? Morena or Alexandra, Julissa? Mm, Morena. Morena. All right. Morena. And then the last one, Alexandra. Okay. Um, good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello, Morena. Okay. I'm um, pleasure to be here again. I would like to introduce a little bit about myself. Yeah. Right now, um, let me tell you that I'm, I'm mother, I'm wife, I'm student, um, co-worker, and I have different responsibility, right? Um, okay, my name is Morena. I would like to tell you that I, a long time ago, I was working in a factory. When I was working there, I had a different um different resolution for my life but it was difficult for me because when someone work in a someone works in a factory it's difficult because we we don't have so uh, we don't have too much, too much time right but my dreams always uh, wish to study these languages but it was difficult for me because I start very early to work and I finish finish mm -hmm. so late. But I um turning points because I decided to study English and I uh, decide I decided to apply for another job. And now I have 11 years to work in the same place, in the same place, in a call center. Um, I work in a bilingual account. It's not good for me because I would like to work in an English account, but it's too difficult to work in an English account too. And then meanwhile, I was, um, working in a call center, I at the same time, I study in the university at night. And I finished my career. I got a real international relationship, relation, international relation. And then I graduated and I had a, I had a baby. Okay, her name is Clara Denise, and I right now I live uh, uh, I live so happy because it's different to to be a mother, right? And and I continue work at home in a call center, uh, but right now we it's difficult to choose a different um goal because you have a family and, and we have to we have to uh, we have more responsibility and that is difficult to to be single and to have a family but and 
I would like to work in an office because I would like to develop my knowledge uh, because I know more than an answer at the phone, right? And I hope so to to um, looking for this job in the future. That's it. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Morena. Uh, Morena, I just want to make sure I understood. You finished your university, Morena. You graduated in international relations. Yes, yes. I finished uh, um, 20, uh, 2020, mm -hmm. the year 2020. Uh-huh. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I studied when, when the pandemic mm -hmm. situation, and I finished uh, my, my classes at home too because the pandemic was very ter ter terrific in that moment. Terrible. Terrible, yeah, terrible. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, and, okay. and you never worked in international relations, Morena? What? You didn't work. You haven't worked in... No, 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 no. I would like. I would like because I, I like to help I like to help um, other people. Like I would like to develop in different areas. I would like. Uh, I would like to work in a. I don't know. GN ONGs in El Salvador. NGO. Uh, NGO, right? NGO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I don't have now the opportunity. But maybe in the future will be. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Morena. All right, and our last person is Alexandra. Okay, Alexandra, tell us about yourself. Uh, yes, good evening. Uh, my name is Alexandra Calixto. I'm 24 years old. And this year I obtained my degree in public relations and communications. And also this year um, I started uh, working at NGO. Uh, called Good Neighbors El Salvador. This NGO is based on supporting uh, children and uh, low-income children. And the, our principal donors are Koreans. And in my job, my favorite part is I'm in charge of taking care of the image of the NGO. And I uh, make audiovisual productions of our projects, and I really enjoy uh, my job because always uh, I meeting people, uh, I building uh, relations with goals, and I orga organizing events. For example, this weekend I am going to do the biggest event I have ever done. Uh, this event it's called Good Run and is a charity race. Okay, Alex, thank you so much. Very nice. Good flow, good ideas. Excellent. All right, guys, thank you so much. We're getting much better at being able to describe yourself professionally. So when you have interactions, you have more practice describing your profession, your job, and a little bit about yourself. Today, we're going to continue. Uh, we are continuing with our units. We are in 1.2. Remember yesterday we finished the intro and the 1.1. Today we're continuing with 1.2. We're going to be looking and learning about subordinating conjunctions. First, we're going to watch a little video to give us a better idea so that it's clear for us. This time we'll study time clauses. As soon as you watch the explanation, you will be asked to write some examples. Time Clauses Before I had my first job, I was really immature. After I got my first job, I became more mature. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. The moment I moved away from home, I felt like a different person. As soon as I got my own bank account, I started to be more responsible. Until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. By the time I graduated from high school, I had already started working. Okay, first let's look at those time clauses. 
What are the time clauses? The words that are in bold or the words that are in black. Before, after, once, the moment, as soon as, until, and by the time. First, is okay the vocabulary? Do you understand those words? Yes. Daniel, yes. And the others? Yes. 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 Okay, great. And it's important because we're going to use them to talk about our life and how our life was, for example, before the university, after university, before having children, after having children, before uh, the moment that we graduated. We're going to use those. So it's important that it's clear the meaning. We're going to continue watching the rest of the video and how they use it and the explanations. Before we begin, it is important to remind you some facts about clauses. Number one, all clauses require a subject and a verb. Number two, a time clause is a dependent clause. It can't stand alone. It must be connected to a main clause. Number three, the time clause can come before or after the main clause. And finally, when the time clause comes before the main clause, a comma separates the two clauses. Now let's look at the first sentence. Before I had my first job, I is the subject, had is the verb. If you read, before I had my first job, it makes no sense. It is because it can't stand alone and it's a main clause. To make sense. In this sentence, the time clause comes before the main one, and because it comes first, we used a comma. Moving on, we have subordinating conjunctions. What subordinating conjunctions do? They provide a necessary transition between the two ideas in the sentence. This transition will indicate a time, place, or cause and effect, but of course, this time, we will concentrate on time. Here are some examples. Once the lights came on, we all shouted with joy. After I got my first job, I became totally independent. Before we finish, we will explain the meaning of these conjunctions. Once, as soon as. When one event happens, another event happens soon afterward. The moment, a particular point of time when two events happen together. Until, to that time and then no longer. By the time, one event is completed before another event. Now that you know about time clauses and subordinating conjunctions, we want you to tell us about a turning point in your life. You may use any from the chart. Okay, so yesterday we took a look at turning points. Now we have a better idea of how to use it, right? So we talked about a couple of things. For example, graduating or moving out, our first car, different things. And the idea is to use time clauses to describe it. How were you before that situation? How were you after that situation? So let's take a look, for example, many times in Latin America, it's very important, quinceañera, right? Or 18, when you get your Dewey. How were you before you got your Dewey? Were you the same after or different things? Okay, so... In my case, as an example, okay, uh, until I had my license, um, I felt that I didn't have a lot of freedom because I couldn't go out. Once I got my license, I started to go out more and more and I was able to enjoy myself. After that, I became more responsible because I had to pay for my own gasoline and my own things and try to maintain the car and the car is not cheap. So I learned to work very hard to respect the things that I have. I always try to take care of them. That's the idea. The same thing that you're going to do with your partners. We're going to use those time clauses to talk about that turning point in your mo in your life, but trying to describe using as, as soon as, before, after, until, things like that. It's okay? Okay. 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 All right, let's do it. A few minutes with our partners, and then we come back. Only a few moments.
Okay, any questions? It's okay. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. All right, excellent. So now we're going to try together to make sure that we understand how to use it and we have it correctly. So let's take a look here. And this we can do also in the platform. It's 1.4. <clears throat> Sorry, 1.4. Daniel is number one. Alexandra number two, Maximo number three, Anna number four. We're going to continue like that. All right, Daniel, please read and give your selection. What do you think is the best answer? Uh, let me see. By the time I was 15, um, a I began to understand the value of money. Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe. Final me... decision, Daniel. Final decision. Many options are similar at that age, but yes, maybe that. Okay. All right. Okay, Alexandra, what about number two? Okay, until I started working part-time. Um, let me see. Hmm. Where will I have there? How to do it? No. She's more 
Mm, I don't know how to make a mirror. I began to start. Mm. Part time. Not until I started working part time. Mm, maybe I had never saved any money. Okay. Good. Number three, Maximo. <coughs> Maximo? Okay, I think Maximo... I is... begin. Ah, okay, Maximo. There we go. I begin Maximo to understand back. the value of money. Okay, okay, no problem. Morena, you were number four. Okay. I didn't appreciate my own country. Okay, thank you. Anna, number five, Julissa, Julissa number six. Once I start sharing Sharing. Sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is sharing, teacher? Sharing is that two people use the same thing. For yes. example, maybe the yeah. car, two people use the car. This is sharing. Here is two people live in the apartment. Ah, uh, okay. With a partner, yes. I started sharing an apartment. Ah, okay. I had no, no, no. Maybe I had learned how. No, 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 no. I learned how to get along better with people. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to 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 change my my answer. I I, I look the, <laughs> the the answers. Can you number go... one, right? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Number six, Julissa. Number okay. uh -huh. After I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. Okay. Number seven. Number seven, let's go with Daniel. And number eight with Anna. Ah, okay, I, I, I see now. Sorry to go wrong. Uh... <clears throat> I didn't appreciate my own country. Okay. At least too true. Don't worry, we're going to learn. We're going to see together. It's not a problem. Some of them are a little tricky. They are very close. That could be different answers. Don't worry. Anna, number eight. Until I got really sick. Uh, ah, it's easy. <laughs> it's the last one. I ha hadn't understood the importance of good health. Okay, very nice. All right. I want to change. Uh... Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> no oh. problem. All right. Don't worry. We're going to take a look. All right. So oh, it's okay. <laughs> uh huh. By the time I was 15, actually, is not I realized I wasn't a child anymore. The correct answer would be I had learned how to take care of myself. Okay. But it's logical, also this one, it's logical. But the correct answer for here is I had learned to take care of myself. Number two was correct. 
I had ah, was correct. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. You see, and you wanted to change. Uh-huh. Number three is correct. I began to understand the value of money. Number four is not correct. Is as soon as I left home, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay. Interesting. I think that was the same one. Uh, no, I learned the one from, I had learned to take care of myself. Okay. Um, number four, as soon as I left home, it's, we put, I didn't appreciate my own country, but I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Number five, once I started sharing an apartment is correct. I learned how to get along with, with, sorry, I learned how to get along better with people. Number six, after I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. Seven, correct. I didn't appreciate my own country. And the last one, correct. I had understood the importance of good health. Please remember to update your platform. That way you have the correct answers in the platform and we can continue. Now we're going to do a listening exercise together. We're going to listen to three people describe the turning points or important events in their life, right? These are the turning points. We're going to listen to Sally, Henry, and Debbie. Please identify each turning point for each person, okay? Then we're going to listen to them again, and we're going to listen to not only the turning point, but how did it affect them? So we're going to listen two times, okay? The first time, what is the turning point? And then the second time, how did it impact them? It's clear? Clear. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. What is for Sally? Two, Henry. I'm a twin. Learn... Daniel? She learned Spanish. Okay, good. Let's listen for Henry. And my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty. Okay, for Henry, what was for Henry? Yeah, the last one. Number. Yeah, something that went to different college. Ah, the last one. Okay, good. And now we listen for Debbie. Shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Okay. Exercise 4. Part B. 
So what did they have? What did Debbie, which one was Debbie? She was the top student in her class. Excellent. She was the top, to, stop, sorry, she was the top student in her class. Now we're going to listen again and identify how it affected them. Page 74, exercise four, listening. Important events, part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. What about Sally? How did it impact her? Felt proud of. Felt proud of. Okay. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. What about Three, him? Three, Debbie. The first I one. I guess I was always pretty... Became more confident. Became more confident. Great. And now the last one for Debbie. Be shy in school. And I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 70. Excellent. And our Debbie, what was that for her? The last one. The last one. She became more outgoing. Very good. So as we can see, all of those answers are correct. Good comprehension for the listening. And that's the idea of talking about turning points and using the verbs in the past. Any questions for this section? No. 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 Excellent. That means that we are ready to begin our next topic. Our next topic is discussing behavior and personality, specifically learning adjectives. Remember, adjectives describe the things, the people. So let's learn some adjectives to describe behavior and personality. We are in 1.7. Already 1.7. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Okay, let's try it together. Everybody repeat, ambitious. Ambitious. Good. Argumentative. Argumentative. Good. Now fluency. Argumentative. Argumentative. Good. Carefree. 
carefree. carefree. Good. Conscientious. 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 Let's try one more time. Conchi. 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 And. Conscientious. Conscientious. Naive. 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 Good. Good. Pragmatic. 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 Rebellious. 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 Mm -hmm. Sensible. 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 Mm -hmm. And sophisticated. Sophisticated. Okay. Are there any vocabularies that you don't know? Yes. Okay. Naive. Which one? Naive. Naive. Okay. Naive is somebody who you can think of innocent. They don't have a lot of intelligence of the world. They they believe the things like the children. The children believe Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Two Fairy. They are naive. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, carefree. Carefree is the person that doesn't think about the consequences. They live their life, no worries, no, no thinking about the things that can happen. And rebellious? Rebellious is the person that always tries to go against. Many times, the example, the teenagers. The teenagers, I know, I don't want to. Take a picture. I know, I don't want a picture. Uh, let's go out. I don't want to go out. Let's go to the movies. I don't want to go to the movies. These are rebellious. They go against the normal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Okay, so that's how we're going to go with our new topic in this moment. We're going to talk about how you were in your teens, in your 20s, and now. Okay, so as an example, in my teens, I was very rebellious. I didn't listen to my parents, and I always tried to do different things. As an example, I remember one time, my parents didn't want me to go out, but I opened the window to my house and I pushed the things out of the way and I snuck out of my house. Then I went to a party with my friends and example like this, teens, 20s, and now. You are going to describe each part using adjectives to describe yourself. It's okay? It's okay. Any vocabulary, any words that you need, or any words that you don't know how to say? I have a question. Yes. Only only these adjectives we can use or No, no, no. Can... you can use other. Okay. Any okay. adjective. If you have other adjectives you can use. Mhm. Mm Thank you. Mhm. Mm Maybe for you you were very innocent. Or maybe for you, you were very uh, crazy, or I don't know, depend on you. Okay, so let's go with our partners. Teens, 20s, and now. Teens, 20s, and now. Julissa, do you have problems connecting to the group?
Julissa? Por empleador, la... Julissa. Julissa, you okay? Uh, um, ambitious. Mm. Let me know. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Ambitious. Oh, really? Ambitious. I remember that when I was uh, that uh, age, I am. Um, I because, was very uh, shy. Because uh, ambitious. Because I. When I, when I was 18, I, I want my own house. Mm -hmm. My own house, my- You were like me. My, own, my own car. Uh -huh. Remember Maximo, past tense. I wanted, I wanted my- I wanted, I wanted, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wanted my- own car, my own house. Only. You were Only Morena, are you? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. was shy. I was shy. shy. I felt yeah, shy. Shy. Yes, I felt um scared to my future because I I thought about it. Morena. Hola, hello, hello. <laughs> you, 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 you didn't, you didn't like dance to dance. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Like I, I like dancing. Uh huh. Dancing. Eh, Morena, and Maximo, remember, Julissa is in the group. Remember, Julissa is in Julissa. the group. Julissa. Okay. Yes, yes. Sorry. Okay, Julissa, Julissa, tell, tell us you in your twenty. I don't know. Um. In in men's is rockeros like a rocker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. rockers, rockers, yeah. rocker. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I'm the same. I'm the same thing. Think uh, when I before uh, to my fifteens, I to to quiet not. Uh, have many friends but when I get uh, 20 20 years old um, I start to 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 speak with with yes I, I was introvert uh, when I have 20 25 years old but when I built my 20, uh, I uh, uh, when, when I wa was 20, no, 20, 20, I start to, to speak with another and more a uh, All right, so now we're getting better at it. We're describing ourselves, okay? Any vocabulary that you needed to know? Uh, what's the, the intro, introverted is correct, introverted person? Good, only no Ed, only introvert, an introvert person. 
and mm -hmm. extroverted. Extrovert. Correct. With T. With T. Extrovert, introvert. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Very. Um, yes, please. Sorry, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. When I want to say, for example, when I was 20, I uh, me convertí in a mature person. Very good. Convertir is I became. Ah, okay. I became. Correct. I became. Good. Excellent. The important is we use adjectives, not describe, but use the words. Okay. So how were you? I was an introvert. I was extrovert. I was shy. Great. The words are great. But why? Why were you introvert? How did you have? Tomorrow, we're going to continue talking about this topic. Remember, okay. in this moment, we are finished with the topic. And in the platform, we are complete 1.7. Adjectives okay. for behavior and personality. Tomorrow, we're going to continue and go with our new objective as well. Talking about regrets and hypothetical situations. So tomorrow, we learn regrets and hypothetical and review this topic okay okay All okay right. thank you guys for joining me thank you for being here and have a great night thank you so much thank you good night good night bye-bye good night good night, bye. good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.